Welcome all again. Uh, now, from previous videos, you would have seen how I've removed the uh, lower rear panels. And I've been pondering for some time now, for some weeks, about what I'm going to do with these, this panel here, and likewise with this one here. And I've decided, given that there's quite a bit of damage down here in this corner here, I've decided that I'm going to actually remove the lot. So again, the process is, uh, because these are pop riveted in, um, pretty much like the, the um, ceiling was, I'm going to try to take the whole lot out in one piece and use it as a template, because what I want to try to do is reuse the original um, rivet hole position so I avoid having to drill further holes into the framing. So what I'm doing is, I'm effectively using a smaller size drill to kind of get to the back end of it and rip the guts out of it and then once I've done that I'll be using the larger drill to finish off the, the top part and so we end up with something like that where I've taken that out so obviously this side's um, easier because I've already removed the cupboards however um, on that side I'm going to have to remove this cupboard as well and I'm also going to be while I'm at it I'm also going to be trimming back the original ceiling right back to the to the frame as I have on on that side there right, so once that cupboard's out an entire sheet can be put onto the onto the ceiling here then I'll put the um, well once the uh, walls back on then I can put the cupboard back on in here um, now interestingly Again, because these things are built from the inside out and so on This wall I suspect goes right up into and behind this frame and may even be May even be at, um, screwed in past um, these screws here Likewise, they go right behind this frame and they're pop riveted in and probably screwed in in here and inside We also have a couple of rivets there that I need to remove so it's going to be a bit tricky and certainly um, I'm going to have to make allowances for when I put the new sheet in to be able to go in there and and not get hooked up on uh, or, or um, uh, not interfere with these um, screws here with these nuts and bolts because I ain't going to be taking those out because you can imagine that means taking the external cladding out etc etc so real pain so I'm not going to do that um, and I don't even mind it if this sheet actually goes part way up this doesn't really provide any structural integrity so it's not a problem but anyway it's going to be interesting to um, to see what it looks like when I start taking it out so I'm going to continue drilling these rivets out there's quite a few to do okay as I said I'm using a smaller drill first Okay, so with the head, and pretty much it's gone through. I just got to clean it up a little bit. You can see that there's a little bit left. Effectively, that's pretty much. Sorry about the camera work. Um, gone through quite cleanly. So they have all been drilled out now. You can see that, and just to give you an idea, there you go. It's all pretty loose, which is what I want. Up here as well, you probably can't see much, but that's it. But like I said, it's um, it's held in up here. I've also drilled out two of the three holes in there. You can see the top one up there. I haven't been able to reach with that, but because that's right in the corner, I'm not too concerned. So, and I've drilled these ones out as well. So pretty much everything's out. So the only thing I'm going to be now doing is when I'm trying to take it out, I'm going to be struggling. Um, I'm pretty sure, as I said beforehand, they're tucked in into the into the frame. I can't seem to pull it just down. So um, yeah, I'm going to have to think about what I'll do. The worst case scenario is I might actually have to cut it across here 
in order to weaken it and then um, and then remove the pieces that are left in there and then the new piece I'll just have it so that it tucks in tucks in about 10 mil before it actually reaches these um, bolts all right so I'll have to as I said run this and cut it through so that I can pull the ply out and all I'm doing is I'm just using the trusty multi-tool and I'm just following effectively right on the frame using the frame as a guide I'll just be cutting all along through here and the beauty about it is is that that's going to give me a profile so this this curvature it's going to give me the curvature that I need and all I'll need to do is add 10 mil above it so that it tucks in under of course I'm going to have to remove all the once I've removed this panel I'm going to have to remove what's left in there the tricky bit's going to be over here and I'll see how I go with that and I'll tell you what I've ended up doing all right so I've come up to a little bit of a bit of a snag here um, this um, cupboard here has a piece of timber inside you can probably just see it in a, within the, the gap there and that is, is stuck on here so which means that I've got a couple of options I can either then start removing all this it's starting to get quite a bit of a job now so I remove this cupboard which means I'm going to have to remove that cupboard anyway um, or I can continue to cut down here across and down here and then effectively I, I keep that the, um, the wall that's inside the cupboard I'll keep that and then I just I just cut the new ply to suit this this edging here again it's non-structural so I'm not too particularly concerned about the fact that I'm having a gap or a cut here um, so I'll be putting an, an edge trimming here anyway one of those things that when you start pulling things apart it becomes one thing after the next and by the time you know it you've gutted the entire caravan which is not something that I've been planning on doing right so all that's been cut on the top here all the way to this corner down through here across and down through here right I'm happy with that I'll see how we go later on with the piece inside the cupboard but now time to see if I can remove this without breaking it because remember the whole point was for me to try to um, take this out to keep it as a as a frame was a ten. bend this enough There we have the frame. Okay, frame pretty much intact. And as I said, this profile here, I'll just increase it by 10 mil or something to to cater for the for the roof, and also here to cater for the back section. But anyway, let's have a look at this. Looking so blingy. I just love. I love this material. So these are the um, rivet holes I want to use again, as I was saying earlier on. And if we look up here, I don't know if I can see this, how I can make it angled. I can't see, but I'm feeling it up here and definitely it's, wow, it's right up there. It's actually, 
it's actually into the two frames between this frame here and that frame there. Yeah, wow, it's um so so what they must have done in the factory is they must have put the ply against this this whole framing and then put the outer frame on. Hmm, interesting. Right, and this is the piece there that I was saying that you can see it's actually quite stuck there. It doesn't seem like it's wanting to go anywhere. Wow. I mean, yeah, I can probably pull it out. It seems to be kind of coming out, but it almost looks like it's glued or something in there. Notwithstanding that there's three rivets in there, but here's one of them. I can feel the back end of the rivet in there. You can see it just there. Right there. And then we've got this section here, which I said is tucked in between the, the walls as well. And it was an, into this corner here, which was rotted. And there's that rivet still there. So I'm going to see if I can try, try to remove as much as this as possible. And this will be just putting a chisel in there and then ripping it out. But there you go. So, and and of course, the other option um, upshot to this is I'm going to be able to insulate the entire lot as well. So I'm using the same insulation material for the ceiling that I'll be using for these walls here. So there you have it. Now for the other side, as I said, I'm going to have to remove cupboard and I'm also going to have to take this back out um, so I'm going to have to basically drill, drill the pop rivets out again and remove this flashing or trim piece because this trim piece overlays the fly so I'm going to have to move that and here I'm going to have to cut all the way through up and up through here once I've got the cupboard out because this piece here unfortunately goes to this piece here and I am going to be taking this wardrobe out to remove it so that's that's where I draw the line as I said you, you end up you end up starting to completely demolish the um, the caravan so I'm not going to do that if it's not if it's non-structural I'm just going to join the pieces together and I mean they're joined here anyway I mean that's what that's what they do the, this this is the other sheet that comes here and this one starts there and they've got this little trim piece and that was the same over here right so they've got the trim piece there so it's no biggie all right so you know that gives you an insight into that I'll um I'm going to see what I'll do here later on but I'll do this as another video anyway in terms of what I've done with the cleaning up and and, and so on anyway um I'll continue with a part two later on, so uh, watch this space. Thanks for watching.